So do compression socks actually improve athletic performance? Let's find out. And thanks to Bombas for sponsoring this sock series of videos. If you do wanna check them out, I do have a 20% off link in the description below. So one of the most common discussions I usually get involved with with athletic patients is, you know, is there any way to extract any little bit more performance from shoes or footwear, socks, anything like that? And the second most common discussion I have is how to better recover the lower legs and feet after competing. Like, you know, after a basketball game, if you're in a tournament, you have a game coming up the next day or the next hour. If you've gone on a 5K, but then you have to run another one the next day, those kind of things. And they all kind of center around how to imp more improve blood flow and improve or more efficiently tweak your muscle function. And that's where compression socks come into effect. Now compression socks work on a pretty simple premise. It is just aiding blood flow back up your leg. Remember your arteries, which shoot blood down into your feet, have muscles, they can contract. So it's a lot easier for them to push blood down. Plus they have gravity assist, right? Whereas veins, all they do is work on muscle function. So when a muscle pumps, that's what pumps the blood up your leg. And as you start working out more and more and more, it's harder to get that blood back up the leg because the muscles are sucking up so much of that blood and oxygen. It's kind of hard to circulate it. And that's where compression socks come in because they give your muscles just a little bit better of what we call oscillation or more efficient oscillation. And they allow them to compress a little bit better, thus compressing that blood back up to your heart and thus allowing your heart to then pump it into the lungs, oxygenate it, and then give it back to those muscles for more efficient muscle performance. Now compression socks come in a wide variety of strength. Take these Bombus ones. This comes in a 20 to 30, which is kind of a mid range compression sock, which is usually what I recommend. 10 to 20 is some Something when you're really starting out trying to see if you like compression. Anything above 30, you probably should consult with a physician. In that middle range though, with like these, the Bombus Midweight Compression Sock, that's where really you're gonna get your most comfort and performance. That's kind of where those two graphs intersect. And where compression socks really give their biggest benefit is number one, perceived muscle soreness. So just your feelings of muscle soreness go down when you wear compression socks. Number two is recovery after long athletics. So like I said, you know, you're running a 10K and you got run another one, or you had a basketball game or a tennis match, you gotta go right back to another one. They usually allow your muscles to recover faster. Do they give a performance benefit while you're wearing them? And honestly, the studies are mixed on that, and most of the data we've seen has shown that the longer you wear them, the more benefit you're gonna get. So if you're running one time around a track in a compression sock, you're probably not gonna notice much difference. However, if you're running a marathon in a compression sock versus not, that's when you're gonna see that muscle effect efficiency kick in and give you the increased benefit over time, kind of like wearing orthotics. And even though athletes and non-athletes can wear compression socks all day, every day, and a lot of vascular surgeons and cardiologists do recommend that unless you have pre-existing cardiac disease, the rub on them has usually been that they're just not comfortable enough for that but that's where the Bombus compression socks come into effect. Because if you are in the market for compression socks, you want one that's gonna be number one, comfortable to wear all day. Number two, can exchange moisture and heat pretty well because remember with a compression sock, usually the materials are a little bit thicker and they're gonna really envelop that leg. So you want ones that are gonna breathe a little bit better like the Bombus Performance compression socks. And that's why the two compression socks I have in my rotation are the Bombus Performance ones because they do have the hex tech in them which just allows more efficient breathing. They're much more comfortable and they don't really feel like I'm I'm wearing a compression sock. It just feels like I'm wearing a standard crew or kind of higher length sock. However, I'm getting the benefits of the compression sock. My legs don't feel as tired at the end of the day. And at least up here, I'm more willing to go work out because my legs aren't tired and you know I'm not feeling like kind of droopy at the end of the day after standing all day. But my very favorite use for compression socks more than wearing them to work all day is cold weather athletic performance. So if you are playing basketball in Pittsburgh in December and you want to keep your legs feeling a little more fresh or just a little bit more pop in your step, keeping those muscles warm and blood circulating, that's when I think these do their best work. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see under my tights or under my leggings, whatever you want to call them, you'll see there's a little bit thicker there because I'm wearing compression socks under there because they just make my legs feel a little bit better, keep my feet a little bit warmer, and just give my muscles the feeling like I've already warmed up a little bit more than I already have. And remember, with Bomba socks, you do get what you pay for. These are one of the more durable compression socks out there. They're going to maintain their compression a lot longer than other brands will just because they're made better. And when you buy a Bomba sock, you can feel pretty good because every pair 
pair you buy, another one gets donated to someone in need. So if, like I said in the beginning, if you do want to pick up a pair, I do have a 20% off discount below. And thanks again to Bombas for sponsoring this video and this series of sock education videos, because we all know on this channel, if there's one thing I like, it is doing sock videos. And if you want to take a deeper dive into more sock science, I guarantee you'll learn something. Make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam and whatever sock material of your choice that you find benefits you the best. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.